the home of the do-it-yourself trucker. When everything goes wrong, you got a redneck and nice. Well, what's going on out there, truckers? Hey, this is it. Redneck and Eyes Radio. We're live every Sunday evening at 7 o'clock Eastern Time. You can call in at 516-387-1733. If you just want to listen in or if you want to be part of the conversation, just hit one. And uh, we're always uh, happy to get you on. So, uh, you know, we were talking about how uh, they had a little round table with the uh, Secretary of Transportation, Secretary of Labor. Uh, looks like they said ATA was there and uh, Teamsters and other safety, safety advocate groups uh, and stuff like that. Uh, so, you know, we covered that a little bit. That was really interesting. Uh, there was also some, a little bit of news going on as far as like, you know, we, we see it all the time. There's, there's accidents and, and there's, uh, different things going on out there with, uh, with truckers getting involved in things. Uh, you know, there was a trucker found, uh, a, uh, a deceased person out on the road and stayed with them before, uh, until the police arrived. So that was, that was kind of a, uh, cool thing for truckers doing, you know, that's what truckers do is they, uh. They, they take care of things out there. They always try to take care of people out there on the road. So uh, this one here was funny. This was from the Dakota Free Press. It says, Governor suspends federal trucking rules, uh, which I didn't think the governors could do that with the federal. But I guess it says, uh, Governor suspends federal trucking rules. Drivers no longer need licenses, drug tests, or functional trucks. <laughs> it says, uh, Christy Nome interrupted the presidential campaign to do a little governing on Saturday, but... Interestingly, she used it to engage in a strange assertion of state authority over federal law. It says Executive Order 2021-10-10 claims that South Dakota faces extremely low inventories and, and outages of gasoline, diesel, jet fuel, and uh, ethyl alcohol. Uh, strange. Every gas station I've stopped in for the last few days let me fill my tank for a regular price. But then I haven't driven West River West River lately, where Nome says the shortage is most prominent. Jet fuel inventories are at or above a five-year average, but uh, delivery systems are having trouble snapping back from the depths of a pandemic. To keep up with the recovering demand, to address this kinky supply chain, Governor Nome has declared a state of emergency and says that truckers hauling petroleum products in South Dakota are not subject to the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration regulations. Uh, codified in 49 CFR parts 390 to 399. Petroleum trucks still have to have licenses and insurance and follow rules on size, weight, and drug alcohol use. But according to Nome's press release summary, drivers do not have to follow limits on their hours of service. Well, that's what it is. They're just drivers can drive, you know, all they want. It says, I would love to hear from my legal, my legally astute readers whether a state can declare an emergency and uh, chuck federal laws and regulations out the window, but assuming Governor Nome has such emergency authority, her order appears to nix a lot more than drive time limits. Uh, of course, they dive into it and it says, I'm not even a third of the way through the federal rules Nome just suspended, but I'm already can see that at least until August 16th, Nome has overturned all sorts of safety rules that far from inhibiting the delivery of fuel ensure that the gasoline and diesel get to their destination safely along with everyone else in the highway. Her effort to look like she's taking swift action shows she actually didn't take the time to read the rules and craft a narrow, narrowly targeted solution to the problem she alleges exists. So what I'll say is, is that the governor can suspend the rules for any, any uh, freight that is moving interstate which means that if it's picked up in the state and delivers in the state, it's under state authority. Federal regulations do not control the freight being hauled within the state. Now, if the gasoline is picked up in Illinois or in Iowa uh, or in Minnesota or Nebraska and hauled into the state of South Dakota, then it falls under federal jurisdiction. And I don't think the governor can just suspend those rules. The DOT, the Department of Transportation, for the, for the United States, the U.S. DOT would have to issue a declaration to suspend those rules. Whenever whenever a, uh, a hurricane would hit, you would see that. You would see the FMCSA and the DOT release uh, rules to suspend the hours of service. Uh, they would have like a press release where they would uh, suspend the hours of service so that trucks needing the supplies needed can get down there as soon as they can. Uh, they did that with the pandemic. Any, any drivers that were, I mean, basically they suspended for anybody, but if you were hauling groceries, uh, or any kind of medical supplies, they suspended the hours of service. So, uh, so I think I don't think that uh, 
the executive order from the governor would take care of every single truck traveling in the state of South Dakota. But what it would cover is anything that's being picked up in the state of South Dakota and delivered in the state of South Dakota. So as long as the state, the freight stays in state, then the governor can control that stuff. And that's what I'll take from that. Uh, that's, that's cool. I mean, uh, this, I guess this is from, it says Dakota Free Press. I don't know if that's a newspaper or if it's just a website. It doesn't say. Uh, a lot of people replied. It says 10 comments. It said jet fuel distribution shortage, really? Fuel distribution shortage, really? Gnome should have canceled the Ellsworth U.S. Air Force bomber exercise last week. It says grab your popcorn when the state ag rushes to defend truckers busted for safety violations by the feds. Maybe the feds will withhold federal transportation. See, a lot of people just don't know. There's no federal employee. There's no no employees in South Dakota that work for the federal government. The All of the people that are like pulling truck drivers over or checking them at way stations, they all work for the state. They're all state highway patrol, state troopers. So they're the ones enforcing the federal law. So, I mean, maybe maybe that because the governor is in control of the state police, that the governor can control that kind of stuff. I mean, really, I mean, it's all about enforcement, right? So, I mean, she can tell them don't enforce it and they won't or they don't ha or, you know, it all depends on who's on her side, you know. Uh, says, uh, it is very strange indeed, Corey, because there is no fuel shortage West River. I live in Spearfish, and I've had no problem filling my car. So, I mean, you know, they say there's no issue. I don't know why. I mean, if there's no issue, then why is there an emergency? Who's who's under the emergency? Maybe the trucking companies are like, ah, we just don't want to follow rules, so let me help. You know, let me, let me let, free me up. Let me do whatever I want. So, yeah, it's it's weird. But, uh. But yeah, well, I'll, what I'll do is I'll put this, put I'll share this out here so that we can get some truckers responding to it. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. But yeah, don't forget to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, you can find the links to all that in our Facebook page and Twitter and all that on redneckandize.com. Uh, we got a company store over there where we got uh, we got T-shirts and, and hats and and cool stuff, stickers and all that for the for the side of the truck. You know, the, either the window or even uh, they're even good enough to go like on the cab somewhere on your cab extender or something like that. And they're all available on, online on there as well. Uh, oh, there we are. So yeah, I mean, you know, like I said, we got a pretty cool Facebook page. That's all pretty cool stuff. Uh, you can also uh, check us out on Twitter and Instagram. We do that from time to time. You know, if anybody doesn't already know, what we do is we go to the truck shows. Uh, we we we've been going to uh, for the past eight years, uh, except for of course 2020 when the show got canceled, and then this year the show got canceled. But it's the Louisville Truck Show, Matt's Mid America Trucking Show. We usually, what we would do is we would get to the parking lot there at the, uh, I guess, I don't know what it's called now. It's the University of Louisville Cardinal Stadium, Papa John's parking lot. It used to be called Papa John's Stadium. I don't know if they, I think they changed the name because uh, they got woke and Papa John's pissed them off or whatever. But anyway, you can, uh, you can go over there. What happens is, is that the, everybody at the parking lot will get to the truck, uh, to the, the truck show, and they would park in the parking lot. Well, if you're a truck driver and you park in the parking lot, you're pretty well stuck. There's no way to get in and out and do whatever you need to do and all that. So, so what we, what we ended up doing, and, and a lot of people do it. A lot of people, different organizations would do it. And we just decided what we were going to do is, is that uh, uh, we were just going to create like a little tent where everybody can come out and hang out, and even and, and we even have some food to eat and all that. And what happened was, is that before we were doing there, people would set up, you know, like food trucks or uh, or like a little area where they would cook food for people but it, it was weird because you know oh we only take donations oh, okay you know you, you're not charging me anything for no no we just want donations oh, okay that's great and they said all right well i'll have a i'll have a hamburger then okay we'll just donate five dollars and i'll give you a hamburger well i thought you weren't charging me anything well you need to donate <laughs> kind of thing and we thought that was weird so we said you know what we're not going to do that we're going to just let people eat and you know a lot of times people come in and they'll fill their plate two or three times and donate five bucks one guy will come in and, you know, get a piece of chicken or, or one hamburger and throw in twenty forty dollars So, you know, it, we take the good with the bad with that kind of thing. And and uh, what we've done is we've reached out to, to uh, sponsors to try to say help us out, you know, with the cost of all that stuff. And, and so far it's been really great. And what we've done, we've got on YouTube and started, you know, uh, sharing our ideas and our opinions of how the world is and everything. And then we also uh, just start trying to make the world a better place, you know, especially truck driving and trying to just create that, that brotherhood that we had once before, you know, out there where, where you could, uh, where you can do things like that, you know, and create different stuff uh, for you know truckers, like sharing information and all that, and that's what we try to do. And uh, so far, it's been working out pretty well. We're really, uh, really happy. Uh, the computer's all messing with me here. So, but anyway, I think we'll step away and take a little break here, and uh, and come right back with everything going on out there. We appreciate uh, everything, everybody 
having a great time. So, but, uh, but you know, and, and like I said, check us out at uh, redneckandnice.com. Uh, give us a call here, 516-387-1733. We're always live here every Sunday night, 7 o'clock Eastern Time. And you can call in, or if you want to be part of the conversation, just hit one. This is Redneck and Eyes Radio. The rubber that you see, we're burned off this rick by the likes of me. They'll rot along the highways in this land. I'm gonna sign my name in that piece of smoke and let the ones that come along behind me joke. Beat this pace, I'm setting the time they can. Whoa!